Alright guys, what's good? Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 1. And I believe let's start this part out by... Surfing Bird all the way down... Past, uh... Provoka. Ooh, an ambush. Sounds painful. But we're too pimped out right now. Don't know I wasted the MP for Fyra, but I suppose if you want something dead, you kill it dead. Really dead. More dead. Dead more. But what we're doing right now is... We're heading down to the cave. What I was too stupid to show was, I got, uh... Nitro powder from... The... From Cornelia Castle. Yeah, I forgot to show that off. Anyway, let's talk to these dwarves. Lolly ho. Hmm. <laughs> that man says if he gets some adamantite, he'll create one of the most powerful swords in the game. Which gets hand me down to your like second warrior or whatever second class that can use swords. Basically, if you use a warrior and a thief and and stuff, you're just gonna pass that sword down to your thief because you get a more powerful sword right at the end of the game is honestly kind of dumb. I mean, not dumb, but... You know, it's ethical, that's what it is. But it's only ethical if, you know, you get a class that can actually use it. So what we came to do is we came to give this man explosive powder, nitro powder, and it should open us up the next route that we should go towards. And we better get the hell out of Dodge. Cause that shit's about to blow. It's not a game. They 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 blow that shit up. Don't go in that whirlpool, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go in that whirlpool, guys. Don't make the mistake. Don't make the mistake. I obviously don't do it because I'm not dumb enough at this point, but I did. I did. But anyway, after getting all that nice stuff, I believe we should go back to our ship and sail through that crevice that we were they were so nice to make for us. Ooh, Levy Stone. We don't get that until later. And something tells me we'll actually be able to fly if we get this Levy Stone.
Thank God for editing. Anyway, now that we've cleared that path out of the way, do not enter that whirlpool. You saw you you might have noticed that. Oh, oh, I was dumb. I was really really dumb. But anyway, this is Melman. It got wrecked. I mean, I mean, a couple of these people are going to tell you. Yeah, the vampire it left their city in shambles. Their their place of their place of peace got wrecked. There is no peace. That man told us about about uh, Sada, who is a wise old sage that gives us good shit. And that man was talking about Levy Stone again. So let's see what they got in the magic shop. Ooh, stuff we can't learn yet. But you see, we get Kiraga, and we can learn life, but we can't learn Healera or Diaga. Which sucks. Because those are gonna come in handy late game. And you can't use them, especially when you need them most. And for this, I recommend getting Fyra, Teleport, and, uh, whatever. Faraga, Teleport, and... What was the last one? I don't know. You don't want anything in here, because it's stuff that you already have. Except for long swords. But who cares? What I really came in here to do is explore. Am I going to teleport? No, I'm not. I think I'm still going to... Oh yeah, yeah, the, the armor shop. There's nothing really good for any other class than knights. And this man tells you about uh, the cave in which the vampire lies. Yeah, let's go stop the vampire. Am I teleporting there or what? What are you doing? Me, please. Me. What are you doing? I think I might have fell asleep when I recorded this. It was like midnight. Ooh, shadows. They're just a step up from from wraiths. So basically they die the same way. And why am I not using Fyra? Don't wanna be flashy. I guess I wanted to be flashy. And show off Blizzara. Anyway, now what we're going to be doing is heading down to one of the most annoying dungeons in the game. I'm not one for rant, but but this this is really really bad. It's it's bad. This dungeon is it's bad. I'll show you guys in a second when we enter in. Alright, commencing angry rant. This place fucking sucks. It sucks. You wanna know why? Enemies hit hard. It's this dungeon is long, 
you're not prepared. Enemies hit okay hardish. If if you're doing it like I am right now, you're wasting MP, which you're gonna need for healing later on. The dungeon is long and draining. It's just yeah, you, you have to go through it. You have to go through it twice. Wait, is this the part where I kill Lich? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Well, Lich and the Vampire are a piece of cake, actually, so... There's nothing really to worry about. Why do I waste my time with haste? Enemies take forever to kill! It's overall annoying. There is one thing you can do actually. If 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 you're feeling ballsy enough, and that is you can grind over to the left over there because actually they spawn hill gigases, which actually give you decent experience for this point of the game. The only thing is they hit like fucking Mac trucks at this part of the game. That's a dead end. Ooh, my anaconda don't. And by don't, I mean don't poison me. For the love of God, don't poison me. Oh yeah, another thing I like to do with this setup. Hand-me-downs. Because once you get certain swords, you know... You're gonna wanna have your, your warriors pimped out with the strongest ones, but you can also hand me down swords to your red mages because they can use them too, all except for Excalibur. I think they can use... I think red mages can use the Masamun, but... Why would I give them that? My warrior's using the Moss Moon. I think I show this part off to show you that Hill Gigas's show up. What am I doing? I think I fell asleep. Or I went to get a drink. I don't know. Why would I do- why would I leave- why would I leave myself to do that? I think I fell asleep at this point. Because I know I was really, really, really freaking tired. Okay, are you gonna wake up? Wake up! Wake up. Wait, oh my god. Don't worry, I think after after this part, we don't we don't do that ever again. At least I don't think so. Ow. Ow. God dang it. Something tells me you're not gonna get the chance to use that. Oh, psych, I'm just kidding. 
No, I think I think this is the insult to injury part where you No no no. That happens later on. Where where an enemy just bitch smacks Wolf down again. And I'm like, what? You can't do that. But yeah, it's a nice spot to grind. But it's not really worth it. It's not really, really worth it. So, you should just get on with your business. Is that force? Yeah, it is. Earth Elementals. They're basically... These are kind of considered undead, and fire really does a number to them. And they do hit really hard. But again, fire does a number to them. A really, really big number. All for a potion. Oh, I added it to the stairs. And this is the maze-like part of it. Don't do what I did. You want to stick to the center and make your way towards the southeastern corner of the map. Ooh, I can see my MP dwindling there. And I got no ethers to survive either. You'd think I'd save some of the MP for healing, but no, I guess not. Ogre chiefs are basically like ogres, except Stronger, that's it. That's all that's all they have going for them. They're not worth much of anything else. Ooh, tarantulas. I know we ran into these guys earlier on, and they're still not worth spit. Okay, I know I edit some point. When's it gonna come? Cause I know I edit to go heal Heal up my MP And I swear the encounter rate is jacked up to high hell here Cause, cause it's, it really is Ooh, a crit! I basically made my life easier. Two crits? And it still didn't kill. Critical hits make your life easier. They do. Ooh, a leather shield. That's going straight to your warrior. 
and another Earth Elemental. For some reason. There's no need. No need. Dude, what am I doing? You'd think... You'd think I'd be at the vampire by now. But then again, I killed the vampire in, like, two seconds, so... Ah, there's the edit. So I basically skip past all this cave's horse shit, and I got to the vampire. Who dies in literally a couple seconds. You know what I got for you, vampire? I got you some fire. Because the undying means he's undead. Burn him alive. Cast temper on your dude and cast fire. Unless he does that and paralyzes your fucking character. Yeah, I mean your warriors. Owen oh, has auto regen for whatever that's worth. This this man should just be considered a mini boss. He's he's not worth spit, and he dies like that. He di like like that. And we get the Star Ruby. I think this is where I end the video, probably, yeah.